Proverbs chapter 1 verse 19 concludes the vivid warning against the allure of quick gains through unethical means with a stark statement. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. This verse encapsulates the ultimate futility and destructive outcome of pursuing wealth or advantage at the expense of morality and justice. The verse begins with a comparative statement that extends the lessons of the preceding verses. It suggests that the scenarios described, the plotting, the laying of snares, and the eager rush into bloodshed, are not isolated incidents but representative of a broader truth about human behavior and greed. Greed, in this context, is characterized not just as a personal failing, but as a path that inherently leads to ruin. The phrase, greedy for gain, captures a compulsive longing for profit or benefit that goes beyond normal desire or need. It describes an obsession that distorts values and priorities, driving individuals to pursue their desires without regard to the moral or social costs. The wisdom literature of the Bible often returns to the theme of greed to underscore its role in fostering injustice and suffering both for individuals and communities. The latter part of the verse, it takes away the life of its owners, delivers a chilling warning about the consequences of such greed. The life it refers to can be understood in several senses, literal, spiritual, and social. Literally, the aggressive pursuit of wealth can lead to dangerous situations that might result in physical harm or death. Spiritually, greed can lead to a kind of moral death, where the soul is so corrupted by sin that it becomes deadened to goodness and righteousness. Socially, those consumed by greed often find themselves isolated as relationships are sacrificed for the sake of accumulation and advantage. This holistic view of life and its potential forfeiture as a consequence of greed serves as a powerful caution. The verse suggests that the very things greed compels a person to accumulate wealth, possessions, status, can become the agents of their undoing. It portrays greed as a kind of moral entropy, leading inevitably to decay and destruction, stripping away the true essence of life, which the Bible posits should be rooted in relationships, community, and a right relationship with God. In reflecting on this verse, it becomes clear that the teachings are profoundly relevant today. In a worldwide economy where the pursuit of profit often overrides ethical considerations, the wisdom of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 19 serves as a counter-narrative, urging a re-evaluation of success and prosperity. It challenges the modern conflation of wealth with blessing, reminding us that true blessing is found in righteous living and that ill-gotten gains bring nothing but harm in the end. Furthermore, this proverb encourages personal introspection about the role of desire and ambition in our lives. It asks us to consider what we are pursuing and why, pushing us to align our goals with ethical standards and divine commands. For communities, it serves as a call to foster cultures of contentment and generosity, counteracting the forces of greed and self-centeredness with communal support and shared provision. Ultimately, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 19 is not just a warning, but a call to wisdom, a wisdom that recognizes the value of the soul over the balance sheet and moral integrity over fleeting success. It is an invitation to live lives marked by generosity, justice, and prudence, ensuring that our pursuits enhance rather than endanger our lives and the lives of those around us.